What is going on guys, it's Gospel Gamer here, we are back on Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. <coughs> I've got a chesty cough for some reason now. And uh, so, Akane's just coming to the diner, covered in blood and in bikini, looking very nice. And me can and her are now in the bathroom. Hey, what's all this ruckus? Alright! Oh, who's it this time? Oh, shit, son. Mm How'd -hmm. you Kazuichi. Why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. A little swimming? I swam around the island for about three hours. Damn. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why exactly. are you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? Oh, it wasn't dear. for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. Huh? But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. Damn. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Hmm? What? Awesome! The woman with wet sleep back hair is pretty fine too, huh? Oh my my! And his body too, man. Young ladies are sure well endowed nowadays. Oh my god. Is that a challenge against all the women in the world? Fine. Ibuki accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pump these puppies full of silicone. I... I'm starting to like Ibuki more Don't and more. Don't say such asinine things. <laughs> anyway, it looks like everyone's almost here and it's almost past 4pm. If so, all that's left is... I am terribly sorry for my delay. <laughs> Miss Sonya's here! He doubled down in excitement. Alright, what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonya wearing? I thought so. It was, gonna, it was never gonna be a proper fucking bikini. It's a wetsuit! It is to prevent sunburn. I do not want my skin to be sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, oh which resulted in my delay. Really? It is my bad. Such a weird way of saying oh, my bad. I see, your wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonya does have beautiful white skin. Miss Sonya! That tie outfit of hers is amazing. It's what I expect from a 100% purebred princess. This guy, he's quick to recover. Um, the money we need to hear. Ah, that's that, Miss Sonya. I'll be honest, if you're gonna have go to the beach, please let us come with you. I am concerned. Well, there wasn't really supposed to be a ghost early on, and we're just really not friends with each other. <laughs> Do you think we, you can make an exception, pretty please? Um... Well, it's okay. It's not like there'd be any problems, even if there are some boys. Then... You're right. Thinking you all the way here, it would be bad if we made them leave. <laughs> ah! Miss Anya is just too tired. So oh, kind. Right. I can't talk. It's so exciting. Alright, now let's just decide. Let's get going. But Akane's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. Engine's ready. I mean it. I promise I'll give it all my all to serve you so everyone has fun. With a normal amount of gusto, he bolts down the diner. Um, I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. I, I, I should go help Kazuichi too. As I mumble my excuse, I ran out the diner, almost as if I were escaping. Fucking pussy. Just, you know, just squeeze a couple of boobs. Then leg it, you know, as you do. Right. Let's go to the beach. Okay. Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? A body has been discovered! Oh, fuck's sake, who's well, died now? After a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! So we haven't seen Nekuparu, and we haven't seen Mahiru today at all. I'm trying to think what other characters. We haven't seen Nagito, so it could be any of those three. Uh, a body? I think, anyway. I might have missed out one or two. But that's a lie, impossible. Someone... Someone come here! Oh, shit. That was definitely Kazuichi's voice just now. It sounds like he's nearby. Where is he? 
in here. How's it with his screen? Did I really, really hear it coming from here? No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. I've already discovery announcement. I won't believe it. I'm not going to believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who believes something like that? As I raise my voice, he swiftly steps inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Oh, fuck. Fucking baseball bat. Oh, shit. What the fuck? If this was all a dream, when did I... When did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is my hero on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. And I couldn't believe in anything. Fuck. That's her skull gone. Well, shit. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. She had no yielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. And she was always straightforward. Towards us, towards herself, she was always facing forwards. She was that kind of person. Why her? Why Mahiru? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard, like my penis. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my hands against the wall. Damn it! Hey, Hajime. Before this, we were going to have a great time, right? We were excited about going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. Why? Why did some of this happen? Someone tell me. I obviously don't know what's going on either. Oh. Huh? Um. um. Oh god. <laughs> Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get up the others. Ibuki, Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numbed. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realised that the others were already here. Huh? What the hell is this? Why am, why am I here? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach, their faces pale with terror. Something like this! I'm missing! What in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach house. So the voice stopped them. Hold it. Uh, hold on a sec. Mm. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. What? Beneath? See? You know the footprints in front of that door. There are, f there are, foot uh, <coughs> there are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. So don't step on them. Huh? What do you mean evidence? Well, Akuma mentioned it in the announcement, right? After a certain amount of time, we'll hold a class trial. What the? Another class trial? You serious? And then, are you saying this is... That's right! That's right! One of you guys killed her! Oh my! Killed? That is impossible! Hey, hey! It's not like an accident or something. Lie. If you guys think it's an accident, that still means the death was caused by someone else's actions, right? In other words... That also counts as a legitimate murder! Though self, such deaths fall into a grey area on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from a sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. <laughs> well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. No one more only takes such good care of people. Oh, fucking hiccups. Oh, God. Doing his voice, like, for some reason, wrecked my fucking... What's this? Ugh. Oh, speaking of which... Like there it is, the Simon treatment attack. This is, like, the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine, I'm not going to lose to your bashing. I decided to become a tough kid. <laughs> this is the worst. Once again, this horrible nightmare. I'm not a victim, and it's all because of Monokuma. No way. Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? Yeah. <laughs> to find out, we hold the cast trial. So, so let's begin already. No one, let's just begin already. It's okay, as you pass on the Monokuma file number two, uh, this should start to feel familiar. <laughs> Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later after class trial. <laughs> class trial? Investigation? This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have some kind of power? <laughs> and that I did have the power before he appeared. Perhaps. 
in. She tried to stop it. Judging from Monokuma and Monomi's relationship, there'd be no doubt he'd, he'd stop herself. Yes, Monokuma took everything away, including the magic stick and all surveillance cameras. The only thing I can rely on are these ears, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically, so basically you have no idea what's happening on this island in the first place. I'm just the worst. The palace rabbit like me is the worst. <laughs> hey, now's not time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Have to do it again? That cruel thing. We have to do it again. Why? I cannot believe it. My hero was killed by one of us. Damn it! Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial seriously. I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason my hero was killed. Hey. Yeah, the one thing we can do is investigate. Cause it's bad. Cause we should never forgive that. Killing is something we should never forgive. Chucky. Well? The killer has their reasons, I understand that. It was the same for Teru Teru too. It's really a Monokuma's fault, I understand that too. But even so, mm. we should never forgive I'll killing. Never. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true of me too. Understood. Regardless, everyone is going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. I'm gonna do it! Then let's do this! Perhaps. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. <laughs> I understand. If I was doing it, I would do it too, but, but, but please give me a little time. Please give me time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go and tell the others who aren't here about this. You're right. And if all you heard was the announcement, you won't know where the murder took place. <laughs> I shall excuse myself now. Hey. Then, let's begin. Who killed my hero, Koizumi? Why was she killed? <laughs> we got to find out and solve this already. That's right, we have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. Okay, first of all. First, I need to take a look at that Monokuma file. And the victim is Mahiru Koizumi. It's made a time of death is around 3pm. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at the Charm the Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt on instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such, uh, yeah, substances such as drugs. Around 3pm, that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead... No, now's not time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then, I'm going to find out the truth behind Mahiri's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Okay. Monokuma file number two has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, first of all, speak to Shiaki. How suspicious. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of there? Did you find some kind of clue? See? You know the footprints from earlier? They're in front of the entrance face in the beach, right? Oh that. Well? How do you mean? Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. And these footprints are just the opposite, they're coming out of the beach house. Hey! Now you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? Uh. At first I tried to go in the beach house from the door facing the road. It didn't open so I went around and tried to go in from the beach outside door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door because Mahiri's body was blocking it, right? Hmm. And that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints lean from the beach house to the tunnel like they belong to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now, you mentioned it, Peko said she went in the little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Yeah. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I do not know anything about this beach. Maybe... Is that really true? But still... But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. <sighs> Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. <gasps> then, whose footprints are these? It appears... It's not said they are the killer's footprints. But I have no clue who that might be. Well, for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Yep, it's probably an extremely important clue. Footprints on the beach has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, now back. According to the Monokuma file, the failed blow was dealt with to my hero with a blunt object. That blunt object is the male bat, right? Huh, this male bat. 
Yep. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? Well? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed on the game during the fourth day. Um. Yes. That girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahiru. Hey, hey. Did you... Did you also play the game head for me? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? Yeah, it's exactly it, but... Did you play it too? Then I'm sure you know this, but... The case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Mahiru's death, you probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even, but even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. I mean, it started ambiguously and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's wrong. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over, but were you able to beat it? Mm. I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. So, what am I supposed to do exactly to actually beat the game? I was thinking about that for some reason, but for now I should focus on this investigation. So it's okay to say that this male bat is absolutely a murder weapon, right? Metal bat has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. So I think what I, I think what I will do is I'll examine everything in here, and then we will uh, we'll, we'll end the episode and then start from everywhere else. She lost all the life in her body, as if she's a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru, but we don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I sat both my hands onto my cheeks and faced Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru is leaning against the beach house door that le leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it wouldn't have been impossible to open. It would have, sorry. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she attacked and tried to crawl to the door. The evidence can be seen that the blood stain on the floor their streets as if it crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Monokuma file number 2 has been updated in your handbook. Check the truth bullet section to review it. Okay, well I mean, I'm trying to see the mask. Hmm, what's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? Maybe party goods, regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. Um, a gaudy mask? Huh? Oh fuck, I gave a voice wrong. You've seen this? Someone chased Marito. And the Superman enemy with the Fury of Spotlight of Sonic Mania Dream. An anime that has a viewership of over 9%. Is Sonya's country really alright? It cannot be. Was that most places to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? I'm sorry. Just give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It appears. She looks like she knows something. If that's the case, uh, <coughs> if that's the case, I should wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm, for Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. Pretty anime girl mask has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, let's check the trash. Maybe there's a clue inside the trash can. That's what I thought, but... Hmm, there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. I guess it's not that easy, huh? Trash can has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, now we've got... That's... Who haven't spoke to? Let's speak to Peko Peko. I see. I'll never forgive killing. Hmm. However... Shiaki seems quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. That? It's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive something like this. I guess you're right. Hmm. Mm, that's weird. What do you mean? Uh. Well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from the refrigerator. Normally, a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a large variety of drinks. Yeah. I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've reasoned it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck? You started it. Let me have a look at that, then. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but compared to the last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Do people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or coloured. They look unhealthy. Okay. That's interesting. A little bit 
Sorry, this wish would only have any song lyrics. Well, I'm really thankful for your input and everything, but don't feel you helped. Because the door is half open, the last time I came in here, that wasn't the case. That's a little suspicious, I should probably investigate inside her too. Okay. Okay, so what we got then? This is a pretty spacious walking closet. There's so much crap on the shelves and the floor, only one person can stand in here. If you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Something on the floor. This yellow thing is a gummy candy. Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. Maybe it's connected to the incident. Did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Yellow gummy has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay. Uh, that's the shelves. Flotation devices, snorkels, nets. There's also some paint supplies too. Hmm, there's not much that could be related to the incident. What else we got? Oh, that's our shelves again. There's a lot of stuff jammed onto these shelves, even surfboards and surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto the one shelf, and some boards have been left out as they've been put in the case. There's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. I guess that's everything inside the closet. So I'm going to end the episode here. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. If you want to see more of this, then do subscribe to the channel as I upload every day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.